Ladies and gentlemen, Tactical Vance here, and welcome to a news update. Now, 2.4 went live just before this weekend. I'll leave a link in the description to one of my other videos where I uh, talk a little bit more in detail about what's in 2.4. But today, I just wanted to give you a bit of a rundown on my experience so far playing 2.4 and how I feel it's probably progressed on the previous patch. For most of us, we're all aware of the changes that have gone into 2.4, and this is a big change for Star Citizen because it's a big, big code base, probably one of the biggest updates they've done so far. But for me as a player, some of the things that it's fixed for me, what I found irritating before, is definitely the persistent stuff. Now you can actually change your settings and your weapon loadouts in-game, and it actually holds them settings. So that makes the experience a lot better for me because every time I log in now I've got the same weapons loaded no matter if I do a reinstall I've got the same weapons loaded as well now one of the other changes that has been made in 2.4 the key bindings so across all control sets have been changed now I understand why they're doing this I mean over the progression of the game as more functionality comes into the game we're going to see new buttons come out that have different types of functionality and them keys will be rebind and maybe possibly again but for me as a pilot, I found it quite difficult because normally what I do, because I use keyboard and mouse, I'm normally using Q and E for the yaw. And that's actually been swapped out with roll, so just turn. Now there is a way in the key binding settings to set the settings to the previous key binding layout. I did that immediately, guys. It, I'm not saying that the key binding that they've implemented is a bad thing. It's just when you've been playing a game for so long and then someone flips all the keys around on you, it's very, very difficult to adapt. You know, I'm in two minds. Should I teach myself on the new key bindings or should I use the old ones? Now, for me, I'm all right with all the other bindings. The only one I'm not too keen about, once again, is the Q&E. I'd rather have your on them ones than I probably would just have normal roll. So I've flicked that back. If you're watching the video in the background, guys, you're going to see how you do that. It's quite simple, and that will maybe make the experience a, a little bit better for you if you've been playing Star Citizen for a longer duration. I suggest if you're new to the game and just installing it, don't go back to them old key bindings. Try and learn the new ones. It's probably a better option. I'm hoping going forward that they make the previous key bindings always available. What I'm thinking about doing is maybe making a backup somewhere just in case one day the key bindings are no longer available. The other noticeable difference I found when playing, I did the IC probes, one of the missions where you fly out and you've got to EVA out, get out, get a probe, get back in and fly off. And normally in that process in 2.3, what would happen is, is some enemies would spawn in and then you deal with the enemies. The amount of enemies that are spawning in in 2.4 seems to be a lot more than it was in 2.3. And the spawning seems a little bit better. The enemy just seem a little bit better. It's all been sharpened up. So that experience doing them probes, it's much more fun. Now there is other missions there as well where you can hold a station and hold it as long as you can. There's many, many ways to earn currency in game. Keep in mind, you can go out there and get loads and loads of currency. But the reality is it's almost certain it's going to be reset again, guys. There's no doubt about it because this is sort of alpha currency anyway. I would say just earn enough to get the suit that you want, enough weapons that you want, and then that should probably see you fine. One of the other things you can do is if you don't have that much money, you could just use your basic suit and every time you spawn in, if you fly out to the first mission of the IC probe, there's about probably about four or five green flashing lights around the place. And I find pretty much every weapon there every time from a handgun to assault rifle. So normally I just spawn in, fly out there, pick up a gun, and then go and land on a pad. It doesn't really matter at this point. It Would it really matter if you had tens of thousands, hundreds of thousands of credits? Probably not, and it's probably going to be reset anyway. Now 2.4 was slightly delayed along the way because they had a lot of uh, issues pre-launch with some crashing issues. This doesn't mean that 2.5 has been delayed to such. The progression on 2.5 continued while 2.4 was working. If you think of it this way, they've got 300 people. 300 people weren't working on 2.4. Let's just say there was a few, I'm guessing, 50, 60 people maybe fixing the bug issues and, and getting it out the door. 
the rest of the company were working on 2.5 and beyond. So we might see a patch coming up shortly once the bugs have been ironed out in 2.4. I think that's really exciting. The anticipation is it's a high possibility that we might see planet side landing. I would really like to see that. I think it'd be really, really cool. Also, that adds another dynamic for FPS scenarios as well. So I think that'd be really good. Now, the only sort of downside I've seen so far, which, yeah, I would like to see fixed because it's been going on for quite some time now. And that is the FPS issue. It's incredibly bad at the moment. It's running, I mean, the worst I've had is maybe 15, 20 FPS. Normally, you know, in the hangar for me, it's running over 60, 70, regardless if that's single card or crossfire or not. So I'd like to see an FPS increase. If 2.5 would have came out and had a couple of bits in there and had a, we're all running at 55, 60 FPS, I would have actually probably preferred that because it makes it a smoother experience. It, it makes it very difficult when you're in a FPS combat fighting someone at 20 FPS. You don't know if it's, if it's some sort of FPS issue while your bullets are not connecting. You see what I mean? It, it just dampens the experience. I think that if we can get an increased FPS, it's going to make the experience for everyone much better. So that's everything for me, guys. I hope you enjoyed the video today. Thanks for listening. And don't forget to subscribe. Bye now. Contact. Contact. Scan initiated. Frank Elliott's nine tells us never a good idea. I'm going to show you why. Hostile eliminated. Contact.